Technology has really come a long way, and a great way to see it is through the creation of robots. We've all played with remote control cards at some point, and a lot of us today have drones. These pretty much represent the basic concept of robotics. They are machines that perform tasks as they follow our instructions. But what we see in stores doesn't even compare to what is happening inside the labs around the world. Every day, groups of engineers come together trying to find ways to develop further robotic projects, but a lot of them are inspired by things in nature. On that note, today I'll be showing you 10 amazing robotic animals. Some of them can be easily mistaken for a real animal. And stay tuned all the way to number 1 and see how far technology has come. Number 10. Smart Bird. Take your seatbelts on. Maybe we try it once to fly Smart Bird. The Smart Bird is an ornithopter, which is pretty much an aircraft with flapping wings. It was designed by Fesso's Bionic Learning Network. The Smart Bird can take off, fly, and land by itself, which makes it a very autonomous robot. It's one of the robots that best imitates the flight of real birds. Its wings, in fact, not only flap, but can even twist. An electrical motor in its body allows its wings to move in a vertical way. When you look at it, the Smart Bird can fly almost as perfectly as an actual bird. From afar, you might think it's even a real one. The Smart Bird is a robot that can help researchers understand the bird's flight better, and even improve the way in which airplanes can be designed. It can also help in the further development of drone technology and other flying robots in the future. Number 9. The Bionic Ant. The Smart Bird is not the only robot that Festo has created. They are actually one of the leading companies in the development of robotic animals. Next on this list, I have another one of Festo's creations, a swarm of bionic ants. These ants that are 13 centimeters long have been designed like real ants, not only in the outside, but also in their behavioral patterns. These ants can communicate with each other to carry on tasks as a community. They come up with a small camera within the eye region and some monitors which allow them to move and perform. They have two batteries that allow them to function wirelessly for up to 40 minutes. If the battery runs out, they can step on the dock and recharge through their antennas. Number 8. The Bionic Copter. The dragonfly can recharge the battery by eating 200 flies with <laughs> And, once again, another creation by Festo. I really want to introduce you to other companies, but the team at Festo is just so good at making robotic animals and such. The Bionicopter is one of the most efficient flying robots due to the fact that it is more maneuverable than the others. It's also known as the Dragonfly Robot, although with a body of 19 inches long, it's quite larger than the real insect. However, this robot moves its wings just like the creature that inspired it. This robot can fly to the front, to the back, and make an abrupt stop in mid-air. The Bionicopter is a great example of what wireless communication can become. This robot can follow commands in real time thanks to its sensors that allow it to assess its surroundings at the same time it receives instructions. This robot is not only smart and efficient, but also very good looking. Its body is covered in blue polyester, which makes it a very beautiful and elegant robot. Number 7. The Bionic Kangaroo. See here the Bionic Kangaroo, which is inspired by the real... When you think of kangaroos, the first thing that might come to your mind is... Australia but also the way they jump from place to place. Maybe kick. And have their young in their pouch. Okay, there's a lot of things here. With the Bionic Kangaroo, the creators have implemented a mechanism of repercussion that allows the robot to recover, store, and use energy with every jump. Just like a real one. The Bionic Kangaroo is smaller than the real one, and is controlled through an armband that tracks the arm gestures of its bearer so the kangaroo knows where and when to hop. This robot, however, is not meant for you to have at home, so don't expect to see it in stores yet. Festo designed it with the hopes of finding ways to use energy more efficiently in the creation of new tools. Since having a pet kangaroo is not really a thing, I do hope they sell this robot to us one day. Number 6. Butterfly Robots The Butterfly Robots, also made by Festo, are one of the lightest robots in existence. They only weigh 32 grams, which is as light as a light bulb. That includes a set of batteries that allows them to stay on for 15 minutes, and a GPS system that helps coordinate their flight. They are kept and tracked in a room with 10 cameras that monitors and guides their flight, which is pretty impressive. They say you can easily mistake one of these robots for a real one, even. The creation of butterfly robots opens the way for the creation of small, light, and efficient robotic structures. Festo is really down to create some impressive stuff. Seriously, though, is there going to be any other company on this list that isn't Festo? Well, let's find out. Number 5. 
spot the commercial robot. Too hot, hot dance. Make a dragon born in retirement. Oh, hey, well, you know, it's not Festo for the first time. This is Boston Dynamics. Alongside Festo, Boston Dynamics is another company responsible for the creation of robots that make us feel like we're about to enter the Terminator era. They developed the Spot Mini, now called Spot, which is a dog-like robot able to perform tasks for its owners. It can climb stairs and move through very narrow spaces where someone wouldn't be able to. It has a set of cameras and sensors that allow it to move through different terrains while avoiding different obstacles and people. Spot is also resistant to harsh weather conditions, and it even has a crash protection system that keeps it safe. More importantly, Spot is one of the first robotic animals with such features to go into the marketplace. Its price, however, does vary. They say it's pretty much like buying a car. You can either buy just a bare-bones structure you can customize, or you can get a fully functional version to which you don't have to put a lot of work in. However, don't expect Spot to walk to your fridge and hand you a beer or change the oil of your car with just the push of a button. Spot owners need to understand what they want in order to program the robot accordingly. Don't think of it as just a robotic pet. It's honestly more of a project. Number 4. Snakebot. Snakes are probably some of the scariest animals out there, but when it comes to the world of robotics, snakes are proven to be very useful and friendly. On this list, I'm not going to choose a specific type of snake bot, but instead I'll introduce you to them as a whole. After all, they all share some common features that make them unique amongst other robots. Snake bots can be as big as a four-story building, which is the case of one developed by Sintef. Or they can be small and thin enough to enter tissues in the human body, like the medical snake bot developed by Carnage Mellon University. What these robots have in common is that their ability to get through narrow spaces and transform their bodies to perform their tasks. They are built in chains with independent skills, which allow them to keep functioning even if a part of their body gets damaged. Number 3. Cheetah Robot Cheetahs are known to be the fastest animals in the world, reaching speeds of about 110 to 120 kilometers per hour and keeping it steady for up to 500 meters. It comes as no surprise that the robotic equivalent is also a very fast robot. The Cheetah Robot, developed at the Labs of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, can reach a speed of about 45 kilometers per hour. Although it might not be as fast as a real cheetah, it is faster than Usain Bolt, the fastest man on Earth. The Cheetah Robot is equipped with sensors that allow it to assess its environment and avoid any obstacles. During lab tests, the Cheetah Robot has been able to identify and jump over a series of multiple obstacles of 40 centimeters high, which are double the size of the robot. Heck, it doesn't even need cameras to accomplish that. This robot has always been able to plan its jumps and adjust accordingly, even when it was only a meter away from the obstacle. It seems like this is one not only a fast robot, but also a very smart one. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's picture is one of a fascinating bird robot, a very colorful and elegant robotic willy wagtail. Its captivating metallic colors and sharp wings make it look like a bird from the future, and I'd definitely like to have one of these in my backyard. While this amazing robot seems like the kind of robot you'd like to have at home, this robot is not real. It's only a Photoshop work of art by an Australian artist named Anthony Hersey. Oh, that guy is actually pretty talented. It's through works like these that robotic engineers can envision their future creations before starting to work on them. However, at the top of the list, I have two robots that definitely make me wonder what the future of robotics will look like. Number 2. Miro. Miro, which is an acronym for Marine Intelligence Robot, is a South Korean invention by the company Aero Inc. This fish robot has two motors and multiple sensors that will allow it to swim in all directions and can dive as deep as 50 meters underwater. This robot is so intelligent that it can swim next to sharks without any issue. The Miro fish has been seen performing stunts like moonwalk swimming and LED light self-luminance. This fish has been shown at different events throughout Asia with an array of customizable skins. The technology behind Miro is so impressive that with 10 hours per charge, its battery lasts longer than in other robots. Although Miro is a big step in the world of artificial intelligence, this robot can also be remote controlled with a camera attached to it. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1 BBC Spy Robots 
When I started filming The Spies, we just had a video camera, and that was the very start of video cameras. HD cams had just come in. Technology has made huge advancements over the last couple of years, but no other robot on this list compares to the ones used by the BBC and other major networks to spy on wild animals. For decades, animatronics have been used in film and television for the sake of special effects and to recreate moments that would be impossible to film with a real animal. These kinds of examples are those scenes where the shark attacks people in Jaws, or those birds that came to visit Mary Poppins back in 1964. However, animatronics have also made possible for documentary filmmakers to get closer to the animals and spy on their world. That's something that would be impossible if the filmmaker were to casually step into their habitat with a camera. It all started a while ago when director John Downer decided to hide a camera inside a moving rock to spy on a pride of lions. He called this rock the Boulder Cam and the idea was reproduced on many occasions. It was no longer just a camera inside a rock, but a camera inside a robotic animal. He was even able to catch some dolphins getting high on the toxins of a pufferfish. All these events would have been hard to capture otherwise, as these are moments that the animals like to share in their intimacy, far away from humans. Does that just mean we're creepers as humans then? Either way, today the world of spy robots has reached a whole new level by bringing together the worlds of biology, zoology, arts, and robotics to create animal robots that look exactly the same as the real ones. Animals are often very smart at distinguishing real from robot animals, but the latest efforts have made robots look as real as they can be and can easily blend with their surroundings. Thanks to these spies, we can now study and understand animals even better. What are your thoughts on robotic animals? Would you like to own one? Do you think they're necessary? Let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all next time. Later everybody!